In this video, we will discuss the most important questions about post-transcriptional modification. So keep watching this video till end for better preparation. Like in video start करने से पहले मेरी आपसे दरखास्त था कि अगर आपने अभी तक इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया, तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब कर लें और साथ ही मौजूद बेल आइकन को प्रेस कर दें ताकि इस चैनल से आने वाली लेटेस्ट वीडियो का नोटिफिकेशन आपको मिल सके। तो चलिए दोस्तों शुरू करते हैं आज की वीडियो। Question number one is what is the sequence of three events in post-transcriptional modification are listed as सबसे पहले polyadenylation, then capping, then splicing या फिर capping first, polyadenylation second, splicing third या splicing first, capping second and polyadenylation third option D है none of these so correct answer is option B सबसे पहले capping की जाती है फिर polyadenylation का process होता है और then splicing question number two which of the following types of RNA undergo post-transcriptional modification? Messenger RNA, ribosomal RNA, transfer RNA, all of above. So correct answer is option D. All these three RNA can undergo post-transcriptional modification. Question 3. The type of splicing that produces messenger RNA variants and protein variants by processing different segments of exon, this process is known as diversity splicing, alternative splicing, conservative splicing, none of these. So correct answer is option B. This process is known as alternative splicing which produces variable messenger RNA and variable proteins. Question 4. Which of the following is not type of post-transcriptional modification? Phosphorylation, methylation, isomerization, acetylation. So correct answer is option C. Isomerization is not the type of post-transcriptional modification while the remaining three are the types of post-transcriptional modification. Question number five, which of the following enzyme is involved in post-transcriptional modification? Ligase, restriction endonuclease, supplyciosome, polymerase. So correct answer is option C. Supplyciosome is used in post-transcriptional modification. Question six, which is the first enzyme used in capping guanyl transferase RNA5 triphosphatase N7G methyl transferase guanyl transferase? So correct answer is option B. RNA5 triphosphatase is the first enzyme involved in capping. Question 7. 5 and 3 end sequences of 2 ends of intron are GATC, GUAG, AGTA, GAAT. So correct answer is option B. GU sequence is present in at 5 end and AG sequence is present at 3 end. Question 8. The RNA that helps in splicing is SNRNA, RNA, HNRNA, none of these. So correct answer is option A. SNRNA helps in splicing and this RNA is non-coding. Question 9. Which nucleotide is present in 5 cap end? ATP, GDP, CDP, UDP. So correct answer is option B. GDP, guanine diphosphate is present in 5 cap end of RNA. Question 10. The poly A tail protects the 3 end from 5 3 exonuclease, 3 5 exonuclease for translation export. So correct answer is option A. Poly A tail protects the 3 end from 5 3 exonucleases. Question 11. How many SNRNP proteins are present in one supplyosome? 3, 5, 4, 6. So correct answer is option B. 5 SNRNP proteins are present in one supplyosome. SNRNP proteins stand for small nuclear ribonuclear protein. Question 12. The SNRNA used in post-transcriptional modification is adenine rich, guanine rich, uridine rich, cytosine rich. So correct answer is option C. SNRNA is uridine rich which is used in post-transcriptional modification. Question 13. Which RNA transcript would be capped by capping enzyme in vitro mixture of RNA? Polymerase 2 transcript, polymerase 1 and 3 transcript, polymerase 1 transcript, polymerase 1, 2 and 3 transcript. So correct answer is option D. Polymerase 1, 2 and 3 transcripts would be capped by capping enzyme. Question 14. 
which of the box is retained in messenger mature messenger rna tata box prepno box gu box au box so correct answer is option c gu box is retained in mature messenger rna while the tata box and prepno box are the part of promoter question 15 The role of small nuclear ribonuclear protein particle SNRNP is to bind intronic site and exon segments, facilitate the looping of two exon into the correct alignment for splicing. All of above, none of the above. So correct answer is option C. Uh, small nuclear ribonuclear protein particle bind to the intronic site and exon segment and also facilitate the looping of two exon segments for splicing. तो ये थे आज के 15 मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन अबाउट पोस्ट ट्रांसक्रिप्शनल मॉडिफिकेशन अगर वीडियो आपको पसंद आई है तो प्लीज़ इस चैनल को लाइक और सब्सक्राइब करना